everyone, I've treated myself to a new bit of equipment and I thought I would unbox it and test it on video because I've bought it for my YouTube channel. I've treated myself to a blue snowball microphone and I'm really excited about the difference it will hopefully make to my audio. When I was researching what to get, I watched lots of these videos with audio testing on them and people's opinions so hopefully if that's what you're you're doing you will find this video helpful now i have actually had one of these microphones before i used to use it for things like my podcast the odd kind of bit of voiceover audio but i didn't ever make my YouTube, like replace my camera audio with it, if that makes sense. Also, the Blue Snowball microphone that I had, I bought on Facebook Marketplace. It never quite worked properly. The switch was, there was something wrong with it and it would, it would make a lot of white noise and be a real pain to get right and it never quite worked properly. I did my research, I couldn't decide whether to rebuy a new one because I know how it works, I got on okay with it when it was working, um, or whether to go for something else. Um, so I looked at the Blue Yeti or a lapel mic, different options. I've settled on the Blue Snowball again because it's affordable. I listened to lots of audio tests and thought it was, it was okay. I do think the Yeti sounds a bit better, but because the price difference for me didn't really work out. But I would love to know your opinions if you've used any of those mics. What are your recommendations? What do you think? Pop it all in the comments. It helps me and I'm sure it helps other people looking at this video as well. Now I've also not gone for a brand new one. I'll tell you for why. <laughs> so this is an Amazon refurbished one. It has a year's guarantee, warranty, not sure of the right word. I can send it back if it's not working within the year. So for me, financially, it works out better not to buy a brand new one. And also I still have that kind of security that if it wasn't refurbished perfectly, I can still do something about that. Whereas if I bought through Facebook Marketplace again, I could end up with the same issue. I'm running a small business here, trying to keep my costs low while also protecting myself if I can. So this seemed like a good compromise. So that's why it might not be in the box you might be expecting it to be in. So I'm gonna unbox it. I'm really excited because I liked my microphone before when it worked. <laughs> so let's see, I'm gonna unbox it, show you, and then I'll hook it up to my laptop and we can see how it affects my audio on here. For reference, this camera is a Sony something, Handycam, I'll link it below. I've had it for 14 years and I actually would like to replace this camera at some point. But right now I think the audio audio is the main thing. I'm sure you'll agree, sounds a bit tinny and rubbish. So I thought I'll, I'll do the audio first and then at some point I'll treat myself to a new camera as well. Okay, so here it is in here. So you can see it's not in like a branded box or anything, um, fine by me. And I just went for the only one they had. I'm sure if you buy a new one, you can go for different colors. Oh, and I researched the Snowball Ice. I decided to go for the original Snowball because the ice doesn't have, it only has cardioid and doesn't have like the multi-directional and the bit where you can change the decibels. So this just had more options, although I pretty much will use cardioid, have used some of the other things. So I've got a, a shiny one. <laughs> um, so I've got the instructions on a piece of paper. <laughs> have they just printed that out or does it come like that? There we go. Um, looks legit. So yeah, I want this predominantly for these, these videos. I will use it for other stuff though. You know, the odd kind of, I sometimes do podcast interviews or um, maybe I'll bring back my podcast at some point. I just don't have the time. I really enjoyed doing it. So I've got that bit out because the stand. Um, so I do, I know it's silly, but I really like the aesthetic of the, 
snowballs as well because I will probably just have this out on my desk and I do like how they look. So I will say it looks brand new. There's no scratches, dents, nothing. So that's good. Um, I did look at some of the like used listings and things like that and I was concerned. I just don't know what you're going to get, do you? So I thought the Amazon refurbished was my best my best one. So it's got like this extendable. I don't remember my old one having this. Look, I can... <laughs> right. Little legs. There we go. And I've got the cable in here. So everything, everything I need is in there. Um, so if you've not seen one of these before, so obviously the microphone area, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not any kind of professional reviewer, nor do I know very much about electronics or, you know, the technical things. Had a conversation with my husband about what I thought and he gave me his opinions because uh, he works in electronics. And this is what we thought would be the best option. And I'm pleased with it so far. Um, so on the back, you've got a switch. This was what went wrong in my old one and it just wouldn't like sit. My husband actually took it apart when it just really wasn't working and was like, yeah, it's the switch and it's, it's not really fixable. Um, so you can have the different settings. I haven't used one for a little while. So let me remind myself. It must say somewhere on here what you do with it. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think it's one is cardioid, two is the cardioid with the 10 decibel, the minus 10 decibel pad. So uh, if you've got loud movements, you can use that. And three is the omnidirectional, I believe. So yeah, I, that used to just get stuck and I would just have a white noise on my old one. Hopefully that worked. I've got a little sticker that says QC passed. Hopefully that's good news. It all looks brand new. I, I believe that with Amazon um, refurbished, they are like returns or one of the things my husband said, and I must say I agree with him, is if you're buying secondhand, even if it looks okay and even if it works initially, someone might have dropped it and that can affect obviously the inner workings. And so that's why I wanted one that had some kind of guarantee just in case, although on the surface it might seem like it works, but maybe it, it doesn't. We'll link this below. I'll link the Amazon thingy and uh, I'll, I'll give you a couple of different options if I can. I'll try and link my affiliate, whoa, affiliate shop, if I can figure that out. So, uh, plug the thingy in the thingy. It should pretty much be plug and play. Now what I'm going to do is do this into Audacity. Um, I do have a pop shield, but I'm not going to use that right this minute. I'm just gonna use it as is, and I'm gonna share with you the raw sound. And you tell me if you think it's made a massive improvement. And if you've used some of the other microphones that I talked about, let me know what you think. I'm just getting that little stand. Why is it? It's wonking, so it's like, Twisting. Am I missing some kind of, maybe if I twist that, that'll keep that bit still. You know when I said I wasn't an expert? Righty tighty. Maybe. That seems to just swivel a lot more than I would like. How would I stop that? Like that. Okay, I've got that set up. So just USB plug and play into my laptop. When I used to use it before, it always seemed to go okay. And from what I understand, the easiest way of combining the audio with my video is apparently, you do a clap, I'm not gonna do it yet because I haven't opened Audacity. You do a clap and then you line up the claps. Apparently, if you're a new person to this, so I've always just used the camera audio. If you're new to this, like I am, Maybe that's helpful. If you're not new to this, you probably think I'm an idiot and that's fine. Apologies for the transition. Um, in the spirit of this review being excellent, uh, I melted my hard drive <laughs> last week, well, it's not funny, and lost the audio that I'd recorded for the comparison. So I only have the camera audio. So I'm going to do it again. Um, so, I've got Audacity lined up again. I've chosen my blue snowball 
um, rather than the built-in microphone on here. I've tightened up because this was loose here. This was why a moment ago I was saying that this kept moving. So I've tightened up this section here. So that's nice and steady now. So what I will do is go from this camera audio over to the microphone. I'll line it up with a clap. Um, so after the clap, hopefully you will hear how different this microphone sounds. So here we go. So from here, hopefully this sounds radically different and super professional. So this is now the snowball. It's only about this far from my mouth. It's just sat on the table in front of me. Um, so hopefully that sounds much, much clearer, um, just more professional. That's what I'm hoping. So I hope this gives you an insight into how the blue snowball sounds compared to my camera audio that I have been using. This will be the audio that I use from here on in. <laughs> so fingers crossed, this is going to sound a lot better and be a really good change for this channel. If you were thinking about getting the Blue Snowball, I hope this gives you an idea of how it sounds. And if you were thinking about getting a refurbished one, I hope that this gives you a bit of an idea of how it might arrive. Um, again, how, how it sounds. Um, I'm happy that I'm, I've got a year warranty in case anything goes wrong. So um, hopefully that helps if that's what you were thinking about doing because we can't all <laughs> buy new all of the time. Um, obviously this is a small business and I'm trying to um, cut costs where I can. So I hope that was helpful. Please hit like if it was. Let me know in the comments if you use other microphones that you would recommend and how you feel about the Blue Snowball. I'd love to know the comparisons. If you, um, you know, if you feel something is better, that can be really helpful for other people watching the video. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was <laughs> slightly shambolic. I hope it was helpful um, and I'll see you all soon for another video. Take care.